Over the last few years, some truly groundbreaking fossils have been discovered. From the so-called dinosaur mummy in Alberta, the Notosaurus, to the ankylosaur Zool that's on display right now at the Royal Ontario Museum, these fossils include nearly complete skeletal structures, plates of armor, and even samples of actual skin tissue. So what goes into making the perfect fossil? Let's dig in on Owl Connected's general knowledge. Let's begin with why fossils are so difficult to create. Living soft tissue, that's hair, skin, muscles, organs, these things begin decomposing at an extremely quick rate after an animal dies. And even the longest lasting parts of an animal, its bones, have an expiry date. So what allows us to have fossils at all? We're going to focus on the environment that has the best chance of making fossils, fluvial areas, and that's by rivers or shallow lakes. To become fossilized, a dead creature needs to be buried, and fast. Sediment carried by water can do just that. As pressure grows on the layers of mud and silt around the body, these layers harden into rock. The soft tissue will still decompose, but the bones, they now have a much greater chance of sticking around. Now one of two things happen here. Either the bones are gradually replaced as they decay by minerals that seep into the rock, creating a cast of the original bone, this is called petrification, by the way. Or the holes simply remain empty and we're left behind molds of the original bone. And what about fossils with actual soft tissue? In the case of the Notosaurus and the Zool, these animals were buried so quickly and thoroughly that some of the soft tissue was sealed off from the elements that would normally have destroyed it. But these are truly one in a million fossils. So if you ever get a chance to see one in person, you shouldn't pass it up. Thanks for watching, future paleontologists. And don't forget to follow us so you never miss an episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.